up here, my name is Morgan Beach Day, and today I'd like to say my computer is finally working again. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is I finally got the EverDrive N8 to work with uh, the Mapper 30, uh, the 30th Mapper, which is commonly used with Nest Maker. But anyway, um, so. So yeah, if you want to know how to do it, all you just have to do is download the link in the description, put the files on your SD card, on the roots of your SD card to be precise. But anyway, um, here's some demonstration footage of me playing Trollburner, the Mapper 30 version, on the Famicom through the EverDrive. Alright, so I'm at the Famicom, got my SD card ready. Uh, but first I need to take out the SD card that's already inside the Famicom. There we go. Uh, just take out the SD card, like so. And put the SD card that I just made on the computer. And insert it into the Famicom. Uh, maybe turn on my VCR so I can get a video signal. Turn on the Famicom. As you can see, um, there's the troll burner demo file that I put onto the SD card. Now let me just press A, select it start. It takes a little bit of time to load. As you can see, it works. And look, the background sprites are moving. Oh shoot! Ah! Dang it! Ah! I'm losing. Eh. There we go. Uh, let me pause game if this thing even has a pause feature. Yeah, it doesn't have a pause feature. Okay, never mind. Uh, oh dang it, just dropped my controller. Uh, hopefully it's still okay. Uh, come on, keep that. I'm gonna come. There we go. All right, so this is Troll Burner on the Famicom through an EverDrive. Alright, so that was me playing Troll Burner on the Famicom through the EverDrive. And, I, and you may notice that it already works. So, anyway. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you have a like, subscribe, comment, and that's all you have to do. So, laters!